guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a packing and prepping video because tomorrow we are heading out on vacation and I am so excited we are heading off to Hawaii we have had this trip planned for quite some time and it's finally here so I'm so so excited we're going to the island of Kauai which I have never been to before so I'm excited to check out a new island and just have some quality family time the whole fam is going including my mom I feel like the best thing you can bring on vacation with your kids is grandparents because they're like a built-in nanny but also I'm excited to spend time with her obviously so yeah we're heading out tomorrow and normally I have everything packed like a week in advance ready to go but this time around I have like nothing prepared if you can't tell I sound a little sick I've been getting over a sickness for like the past couple days that's just what comes with being a teacher but I'm hoping I feel better tomorrow for our flights and the start of our trip so on top of being sick it's just been non-stop work for the past week or two we had the kids birthdays and then just also trying to prepare everything while I'm gone like getting all my stuff ready for a substitute teacher getting all of my stuff ready for videos to go live and making sure I'm caught up on my ghostwriting cookie orders were insane this week yada 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 just been crazy busy but now it is time to pack because this is really our only day to do it. We leave tomorrow morning. First thing on the agenda is coffee. One thing that is a major help today is our cleaning ladies are coming here to clean the whole house, which means we'll get to come back from Hawaii and have the house just clean and in order so we can jump right back into work and school and just normal life. So I'm really thankful for that. We have cleaning ladies come twice a month, which is somewhat new for us. I think this is like our second or third month having hired them and I love it I love it life is busy and this helps so much so I do still need to tidy up the house a little bit before they come but yeah we're gonna start making a list of all the things good list of what needs to be done and then as far as the list of things to pack these are just like little things that I might forget or just like not the main things like clothes or shoes these are just the nitty-gritty especially since I'm packing for the kids and myself Matt is an expert packer already so I'm just gonna focus on me and the kids and there's a lot of little things that I don't want to forget. Before we get started on packing, I think the first thing I'm going to do is tidy up this kitchen. Just get some of the housework out of the way.
of my tidying of the house is done. I'm hoping I can get all of the bedding washed and the beds made before the cleaning ladies get here. That's just a waiting game with the washer and dryer. So now I'm going to move on to a little bit of my work stuff. I just have to wrap up some emails, wrap up the video I have going live while we're gone, get like the description box, schedule a thumbnail. And then I also need to send an email to the parents of my students just to let them know that I'm going to be out of town next week and then also set up like an away response to any incoming emails. <laughs> in I still have laundry running so I can't start on the clothing yet but I think I'm gonna start on toiletries and makeup which brings me to today's sponsor Merit which I'm so excited to share with you guys I have been using their makeup products for about a week just over a week now and I have been loving the makeup what I love about Merit's products is that they are all non-commodogenic, which means they're not going to clog your pores. They've added skin-loving ingredients into their formulas like plant-based squalene, vitamin B5, antioxidants, and I honestly feel like my skin has improved since using their products. So the first product that I apply is The Minimalist. The Minimalist is their perfecting complexion stick. It's not a foundation, it's not a concealer. It can honestly replace both. I have it in the color Ochre. I'm using their blending brush as well, which is so soft. It blends like a dream. The next thing that I'm gonna put on is their Bronze Balm, which is a sheer but buildable bronzer. I love this shade. It's the shade Clay. It's so pretty. And then the next product that I go in with is their Flush Balm, which is their cheek color. I got the color Fox. I really wanted to get a shade that spoke to fall, kind of give you that like cinnamon girl makeup look. And then lastly, I will go in with their Day Glow Highlighting Balm, which is perfect for a beach vacation. You want to look like you're lit from within. You want to look like you're glowing. I got the shade Citrine. These are like my go-to four products that I've been using and it's really all you need. Like this is perfect for this upcoming trip because it's easy, minimal, effortless, and quick. Every first order with Merit comes with a signature bag and every order over 40 bucks ships for free. And then if you get like a set, the products are discounted up to 15%. If you want to shop Merit, I'll put everything you need to know down in the description box. So now we're going to start packing everything up. As far as jewelry goes, I think I'm going to take my favorite hoops from Ana Luisa. These are the Tia hoops and then I need to find a necklace. I have a couple necklaces I could bring. And then I have all of the Ana Luisa envelopes which come with your jewelry and they make the perfect travel size organizers. And then I think I'm just going to keep the current stack that I have for every day because they're so pretty and they're so lightweight. I don't even feel them. I wear them every day. And then for hair accessories, I'm gonna bring these super cute floral clips I got on Amazon. 
along with this scarf that I also got from Day. It's so cute in your hair. It could be a top. It can tie around your bag. And sunglasses. I'm going to bring my favorite. I got those from Amazon and they're so cute and lightweight. I'm obsessed with them. And my little jewelry is ready to go. And that's pretty much all the accessorizing we're going to do. I feel like we're making progress. I'm happy with like getting all the toiletries done for myself and the kids. And now I'm going to focus on the stuff that we're going to bring for the plane. We have these two backpacks that Matt's coworker actually gifted the kids. And they're a good size, a good travel backpack for all of their stuff. I'm going to bring some graphic novels, these drawing tablets, their tablets. Matt downloaded some movies to each of them. Play-Doh, I feel color, wonder set. It comes with markers, stamps, coloring pages, a stamp pad. It's a Melissa and Doug reusable sticker book. And then for myself to be entertained, I'm bringing my book. A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I also ordered this giant Sudoku book. I love Sudoku so much. It's one of my like favorite things to do on the plane. So I'll be entertained for quite some time. So there's some more things that I can cross off the list. Chargers for their tablets. Chargers are another thing that I have to round up for phones, tablets, camera, whatever else a couple things that i don't need to pack that my mom is bringing and that's like all the sunscreen and all the snacks so that'll free up some room in our suitcases and carry-ons so good and to know that we're coming back to a clean house fresh sheets it's gonna be so nice so now the cleaning ladies just left and I'm gonna get started on packing all of our laundry is done we're gonna start with the kids I think I'm gonna try and cram everything into like a carry-on that we might still check anyways that way it's just like less stuff to carry Just about done packing the kids suitcase everything fit just fine in a carry-on I packed like two pairs of pajamas three swimsuits for each just shirts tops a couple dresses for Quinn Jax's friend gave him some Hawaiian shirts that no longer fit him so we're in pretty good shape and for shoes I don't know I'm debating how many shoes we actually need to take this is kind of what I'm thinking right now a pair of Crocs for each, a pair of sandals for each, and then a pair of matching Vans for each, plus the water shoes. Might be overkill, might not be. I don't know. I'm gonna see how much I can fit in this suitcase. Now it's time for me to pack, so I'm gonna take just like a big 
full-on suitcase for all of my stuff and I did not get anything like new for this trip not that you have to get like new things for a trip but I'm just gonna try and like put together outfits with what I have and we'll see how it goes okay so here is what I've got going on I don't know what we're doing each day I only know of one thing we have for sure planned so I just wanted to pack some basics and some things that could go with multiple items. I have a sheer white swimsuit cover up. I have this floral bikini from Target. I have this green one piece from Old Navy. And I also have this pink one piece from Old Navy, which is really cute. And then lastly, I just have a plain black bikini, also from Old Navy. Dresses, I have this pretty floral dress it's from H&M and it's just like a nice light fabric and light pink flowers this dress I have never worn I got it from Urban Outfitters months ago kind of with this trip in mind it's so pretty it's just this light soft material and this yellow color with this pretty floral print I'm bringing my two favorite little athletic dresses from Old Navy I have it in black and then I also have it in pink. And I'm taking bike shorts just because they're super comfortable, a nice little basic to have. I'm taking these white linen -y shorts with the paper bag top and then it has a little tie. And then I'm taking these corduroy overalls. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like maybe they could look cute over the black bikini or something like that, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll regret bringing these. <laughs> and then I'm taking the only pair of denim shorts I have, which are my A Goldie shorts, which I live in. And then for tops, I'm gonna take this crochet halter top from Altered State. I think I'm gonna take my tried and true white Zara bodysuit. I have worn this so many times, but it goes well with so many things. This knit little crop top from H&M. I'm taking this short sleeve white linen-y button down, also from H&M. And then I'm taking a longer sleeve, oversized white button down, also from H&M. I feel like this is just a good basic to have. To add a little color, I'm going to bring this orange little long sleeve crop top from H&M. I'm also taking just a white, kind of creamy white basic v-neck tank top from Old Navy. And then for the airport and also just like during the trip, I'm going to take this oversized white t-shirt that I got from Target. It's super soft. And then I will pair that with my black Lululemon align leggings. As far as hats go, I have a couple to choose from. I have this little dad hat from Princess Polly. It's very fitting for our Hawaii trip. And then I'm going to bring my little woven bucket hat also from Princess Polly. And then my mom got this really big beach hat from Target. I think it was on clearance, she said, and it's huge. But I also have this one from Gigi Pip that I've had forever. I might take the big beach hat. And for shoes, I just got these from Target. They're just like a perfect neutral slide. Very comfortable, perfect for being in the sand, the water, whatever. And then I think I'm going to take these super cute Dolce Vita wedges. got them from Stitch Fix, and they are just super cute. They're really comfortable, and they're not too high, but I feel like they would go with so much. We usually go into trips knowing like exactly what we're doing and while it's nice to kind of just take a laid back approach I'm still like struggling to pack here <laughs> I think I'll be good everything is packed I'm feeling good about it. I'm also kind of tired. I'm gonna get in my comfies, make some dinner. We're gonna make a chicken tortilla soup tonight, which is also really good to freeze. So I know we're not gonna get through it all tonight and I don't wanna waste any food. So we'll just pop the rest in the freezer and we'll be good to go.